I'm Val Hatcher, one of the gallery interpreters at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Being safer at home means that I can't be in the museum every day talking to guests about my favorite thing, spiders. Arachnophobia, or the fear of spiders, is one of the most common phobias out there. People tend to fear what they don't understand, and there's a lot that people don't understand about one spider in particular that you might see in our Bugtopia exhibit that you will definitely see in our nature lab, and that's the Black Widow. Black Widows are shy bug catchers that want to eat their food and be left alone. So why are we so afraid of them? Well, fear and phobia that's a complex issue and everybody's experiences are different. For a lot of folks, the fear of spiders may have been instilled through social conditioning. Things like movies and Halloween teach us early on that spiders are scary with a capital S. Fear might make a spider seem bigger than it is or more aggressive, and then when confronted with a spider, we might react as though our life is in danger, even if it isn't. Part of it is misinformation, and part of it is social conditioning, and part of it is truth. We should be cautious around black widow spiders, but when we learn more, sometimes we can fear less. Unlike the smaller, lighter colored brown widow that you might see around town, the Western black widow is a shy California native. They're not waiting for you to get close in order to pounce. When disturbed, they're more likely to run away and hide or even to drop and play dead in order to be left alone. So what makes these shy spiders cool? Well, one of the coolest things that spiders can do is to make silk and with that to build webs. Some spiders build absolutely beautiful webs. The black widow builds a kind of irregularly shaped cobweb. Now, not all spiders make webs, but all spiders make silk and spider silk is incredibly strong. On a per weight basis, it is stronger than steel. Black widow silk in particular is so strong that if you tear through a web made by a mature spider, it makes an audible sound. Black widows build their webs in places like garages and sheds, places where there isn't a lot of day-to-day -day human activity. They do have eyes, but they don't see very much, instead sensing the world around them through vibrations picked up in that web. And what do we think might cause a lot of activity in a web? A bug that is caught. And that is a great deal for us, because the more spiders we have hanging out in webs, the fewer pests like mosquitoes we have buzzing around us. Now maybe you're thinking, all this bug catching is well and good, that's nice, but these are deadly creatures, right? Yes, and no, and yes. Spiders are not poisonous, they're venomous, meaning that they have to bite and inject venom in order to get it into their prey. But they don't wanna bite people. Venom is a valuable resource that they use to kill and digest the bugs that they eat. And they don't wanna waste it on us because they can't eat us. And insects, their intended prey, are much smaller than we are. So black widows are absolutely deadly to bugs. Widows are the only medically significant spider populations that we see with regularity in California. So they should be treated with caution. In humans, their venom can cause, among other things, pain, nausea, headaches, and muscle spasms. You don't wanna get bit by a black widow spider. Similar to a bee sting, if you are allergic or you have a compromised immune system, there could be a more severe reaction, but for most folks, that's not the case. Seek medical attention for any bite that concerns you. Again, my name is Val. I just wanna say thank you for joining me today to learn a little bit more about black widow spiders.